Why N W Melly might get out of jail. Why W Melly's attorney Stuart Aldistein has filed a motion to set bond with Judge John Murphy on Tuesday afternoon. I believe this is the third time that Melly's team has filed a motion to set bond. The first time being back in 2019, where Melly's first lawyer said that Melly has never purposely missed a court day and is not a flight risk. The second time being in 2020, where he tested positive for COVID and tried to get out, but he was denied again for being dangerous. So here's the motion right here: State of Florida versus Jamel Demons. Motion to set bond comes down. Defendant Jamel Demons by and through his undersigned counsel files this motion to set bond and grounds therefore states the following that the defendant Jamel Demons is charged in superseding indictment with two counts of first degree murder with a firearm that occurred about the 26th day of October 2018. On February 8th, 2019, the Miramar Police Department issued a, an arrest warrant authorizing the arrest of the defendant. Five days later. Okay, I'm going to stop it here. This is crazy. The case is crazy. Exactly, Tevin. Bro, this, this case, bro, is insane, guys. This case is insane. Basically, what people are trying or what the police are trying to accuse of him of if you guys don't know what um what happened it was basically he literally shot his two best friends in the back of the car and basically him and his buddy who were in the driver path like in the driver's seat like try to get away with it or they tried or ynw melly tried to get away with it and now he's trying to get out and he actually might get out um so he want to go more into detail on why he might try to get out he uh, voluntarily surrendered to the authorities at Barra County Jail and remained in custody since that time. I remember when that happened too. People were freaking the fuck out back in 2019. They were like, oh, he turned himself in, so he's guilty. Like, people just have a misunderstanding, dude. Don't understand that they don't want to be on the run, like TK. That's a terrible look to, you know, a jury and a judge that you were on the run. So, you don't want to be on the run, obviously. Exactly. Even if even if you're innocent, you have to turn yourself in. If the police have evidence or try to have evidence against you or are trying to have an arrest warrant and put you in jail, I'm not saying... I'm not saying he's innocent, but I'm saying is you have to like turn yourself in because if you're on the run, it makes you look more guilty. And he's completely right about that. The defendant commenced trial on this cause on April 11th, 2023, and the court declared a mistrial on July 22nd, 2023, because the jury could not reach a unanimous verdict. The defendant has remained in custody for over four years and has never requested a bond hearing, Arthur hearing, until now. Oh, so this is a different type of hearing? What's an Arthur hearing? If your attorney successfully gets you an Arthur hearing, there will not be a jury. During it, your attorney and the prosecution will present their case to a judge because there's no jury. The judge is the only person your attorney has to convince. In phase one, the prosecution will present evidence in form of documents or witnesses establishing proof of evidence. Crime is committed. This is a high burden. In the second phase of the hearing, the court determines whether bond is appropriate by considering factors such as flight risk, any previous criminal history, whether you pose a danger to the community. Basically, what we already know that the judge has to decide if Melly's a flight risk or a danger to the community, or potentially, you know, fucking with witnesses or something. Which I don't think. Put, just put him on house arrest. You know, make it so he can't fucking leave the house. I mean, that'll solve a lot of things. But I know a lot of people think Melly shouldn't get out. So. I get that. I don't fucking know anymore. What do you guys think? Do you guys think he's innocent? Like, do you guys really think Melly is innocent? Or do you guys think that, um, like, he's basically, he did it and there's no way of, like, hiding it? We all know he's not innocent. What do you guys think? What is your opinion on the situation? But I'm going to be honest, bro. Um, why was there, why was there a mistrial? If he was... In my opinion, I don't I don't know if he's innocent or non innocent. I'm kinda in the middle. But it but like the jury said like they couldn't determine if if he did it. And that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. It's 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 insane, bro. It's um it's it's weird, bro. It's super weird. The defendant has been charged with the same charges and an additional two counts of accessory after the fact. He's out on bond. Obviously, the difference is they're saying Melly pulled the trigger, so that's why he's been staying behind bars, I believe. Although the defendant is charged with non-bondable offenses, the court has had the discretion to grant bail even in capital cases. So then he states State versus Harper, which is a case from fucking 1980. <laughs> uh, since the criteria for denial of bond is that the proof of guilt is evident, the presumption great that the defendant committed the crimes charged, the defendant submits that he must be granted reasonable bail. In fact, the proof evident presumption great standard is stronger than proof beyond reasonable doubt to deny the defendant bond. Verse Thursby, which is from 1966. <laughs> and then... And Why are all these cases like so old, bro? No, he did it for the fame. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what... I don't know what... YNW Melly was thinking at the time, but 
1966, and then the one previously it was from 1980, bro. That's crazy. Another case from 1998. The court ruled before that, before a trial could deny bail, the state must carry the burden of establishing that the proof of guilt was evident that the defendant committed the aforementioned crimes. So that was basically Melly's lawyer pointing out other cases with serious crimes like this, where they got out on bail. In this case, the state has obviously failed to prove beyond reasonable doubt that the defendant committed the crimes of first-degree murder when this court declared a mistrial on Ju July 22nd, 2023 because the jury could not reach a unanimous verdict. Since the standard of proof to deny a defendant bond is the highest standard of proof, the state failed to do so. The defendant is titled to bond. We all knew that his wow. team was going to pull this card. I see a higher chance now because there was a mistrial and, you know, a judge could be like, all right, I get it a little bit, but I doubt it. I just don't see the judge leaning that way, but it wouldn't surprise me. The defendant Jamal Demons respectfully... Oh, so I'm going to say, wow, yeah, you're right. His last name is, that's crazy, his Demons. But I'm, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this. If he gets out, there's nothing we can do about it. But there is a very, very small chance. I feel like the police really want to keep him in and they're going to do anything possible. I feel like, you know, like they can still keep charging him. So guys, like once he gets, if they get a mistrial, they can still keep trying to charge him, charge him, charge him until he's in jail. But um, I feel like Melly's team is going to try to get out of that. Even if he's on house arrest to the next trial, um, at least he's out. And he can make some music and he can basically, he could sell so many, so many Spotify or, or iTunes or whatever. People don't even use iTunes. They just use Apple Music or Spotify now, but, um, or YouTube, but he could like sell so many records, bro. Um, but this is crazy. Let's keep getting into it, guys. Is this honorable court to grant this motion and set a reasonable bond? My boy Bryson Paul, shout out this guy. He uh, tweets a lot of good shit about the trial and other trials. Uh, let's see what people are saying below the tweet. Let's be honest, they can't give bond for a double murder trial. This already four bonds rejected between 2019 and 2021. I thought it was only two or three. The bond machine says Melly's team has never requested a bond hearing. Apparently, they've never requested an Arthur hearing. Might as well try. I don't think he'll get bond either, though. We know mm -hmm. this, but I guess it don't hurt to try. It's a new trial. If granted, which I doubt it will be, bail will be in the millions and he'll be on house wow. arrest. The smart thing to do would to be to wait it out until the next trial he should save the money for attorney fees and other expenses Melly being out of bail is good for him recording a bunch of music before the next trial you know he's working behind bars it would suck if he never got to hear the new songs probably odd considering i'm so invested in this trial but i've never heard a full Melly song yeah Melly's team and Melly's family obviously want him out just for his mental health and to be around him for as long as possible but you know they're also thinking in the back of their head like shit he could get out and record a whole goddamn album real quick he'd probably be recording like 10 hours a day <laughs> just a bang bro i wonder how much time Melly has been like basically not recording music. I don't know if he records music in jail, but bro, imagine you being in jail and not be able to do what you love, bro. Like that's crazy, bro. I don't even know if they're allowed to like, I don't even know if they're allowed to basically have internet or like, excuse me, or there are like cell phones in jail. I don't know. I don't know any of that type of stuff but it's insane bro but if he did get out bro and he does make a banger that's crazy bro he's gonna he is right he's gonna be like trying to make as much music before he goes back in or if he if he gets out then he'll have that album to remember the times bro not as much music as possible because i'm pretty sure they have ran out of verses from him and they don't have much music left and getting bond on a double murder death penalty case good luck yeah i'd say it's about a 10 percent chance maybe 20 percent chance he gets it but this is a death penalty case i just don't see the judge doing that bro i really don't boy I had laughing gas bro i'm gonna tell you this i'm gonna tell you this um i feel if he has to have really good lawyers it all depends on the lawyers the percentage points in the words if his lawyer can beat out um the police or like the federal government or whoever is trying to persecute him put him in jail if if a ynw's melly are smarter and they know what to do to get what they want they can do it but if the lawyer can't make a case to get him out or convince the judge there's nothing we can do about it and i don't i don't think it's a percentage it all depends on the hearing it all depends what happens it all depends who has more ammo in the gun basically to to convince the judge to basically to let him out or not let him out you see what i'm saying that's that's just my opinion what the heck <laughs> what the heck <laughs> 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 what 
What the heck? I feel like a blood to have llama. <laughs> what are we watching? I, I feel fluffy, like, what the fuck? Bro said, I feel fluffy. Another thing huh? I should quickly update you guys on is they're not going to be able to redepose Detective Moretti, the lead detective on the case. The finish failed to show good cause for redeposing Detective Moretti. Rule whatever does not require the state to inform the defendant that a witness will not testify to specific subjects as long as the state has appropriately designated all witnesses. So they were trying to redepose him because he was talking about the cell phone towers and shit, which they apparently didn't talk about in their uh, deposition. So that's why they were trying to do that. But that got denied. Yeah, that's okay. it for this quick update. There's a stat is hearing on Friday. So guys, um, do you guys think YNW Melly is going to get out? Like, give me like, put your, um, what was a bit your answer in the comments, guys? <laughs>